A diesel locomotive is basically an electric locomotive. A large diesel engine turns a shaft that drives a generator which makes electricity. Thus, it is also referred to as diesel electric locomotive. In this lesson, we will learn how this process takes place. A diesel electric locomotive uses a two-stroke internal combustion diesel engine as its primary source of power. A fuel tank, holding up to 50,000 liters of diesel, feeds the engine with the help of an electric fuel pump. Usually, a diesel locomotive engine has 16 cylinders V16, but may range from 12 cylinders V12 to 18 cylinders V18. The cylinders are generally arranged in V-shape. The mechanical power produced by the diesel engine drives the main alternator, which is an electric generator producing alternating current AC. The engine can rotate at up to 1000 RPM, transmitting about 770 volts and 4520 AMPS. An auxiliary alternator is also present to provide power for heating, cooling, lighting, etc. throughout the locomotive. The output voltage generated by the main alternator is controlled by a transformer. However, the output current generated by the transformer is fluctuating and is passed through a rectifier to convert it into steady direct current DC. Let's see the DC current and AC current. The DC power is again converted into three-phase AC supply by an inverter and fed to the traction motors. The traction motors are connected to the wheel axle and power the wheel's rotation. Each axle has two wheels and the whole bogey has a total of six traction motors connected to each axle. The diesel engine of a locomotive gets very heated due to the heavy work. A water-based radiator is used as a cooling system to keep the engine from getting too hot. The traction motor is cooled by motor blowers. The transformer, rectifier, and inverter are also cooled using blowers. If you watching this video, don't forget to share your comment and help us to spread globally. Let's grow up, never stop your learning.